awesome God. Amen. You know, when I begin to think about uh, the state of the world and and listening to the news and all of that, you know, it just makes me all the more want to look to the hills from which cometh our help. Come on. Amen. Amen. We need to look to the Lord more than ever before, because if you just are so consumed with everything else, it could be pretty discouraging. It can be pretty discouraging. Heavenly Father, Lord, we praise you. Yes, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, God. <clears throat> and we ask, God, that you minister to our souls. Yes. Lord. Heavenly Father, take this word and permeate our hearts. Take this word and encourage us and drive yes, us forward. Jesus. Heavenly Father, Lord, that we could stand for you in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Well, you know, we want to talk about, you know, entering into God's rest. Come and, on. And, 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 and what sometimes stops us from entering into God's rest. Amen? Amen. Go with me to Hebrews 3, verse, eh, let's start with 10, 10 through 12. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said they do not, that say they do err in their hearts, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, yes. lest there be an, in any of you an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living God. Amen. God is concerned about our hearts. Yes, he is. God wants our hearts, if you will, not to operate in unbelief. God wants our hearts, if you will, to be submitted to him and be able to trust him. Amen. Because if not, people missed. And this was the children of Israel. They were, they'd come out of Egypt. They, God was leading them into the promised land and they allowed their hearts to be manipulated by what their That's eyes right. and by, by what others were telling them <clears throat> rather than trusting and believing in the Lord. Yeah. Because when we don't trust and believe in the Lord, then, uh, we ourselves need to be delivered. Mm. You know, sometimes you would think, say, oh, well, what I need to be delivered from? Oh, you need to be delivered from the devil. Not necessarily. You need to be delivered from yourself first. We have to get delivered of all of our selfish ways, all of the things that we want. Because our bodies, uh, they crave what we want. Satisfaction. Exactly. Versus uh, what God is necessarily saying for us. And so it's important that we need to say the first step, First thing that needs to happen is I need to be delivered from myself because once we are selfless, then we will allow God to lead God and direct us in the way that we need to go. Amen. So, so the reality is, is that, you know what? Yeah, we need to be delivered from the devil, but before that can happen, you got to deliver yourself, yourself. Get delivered get from yourself. <laughs> delivered from yourself. Amen. Amen. And, and then we need to begin to understand that that we, we move in the right direction. And when we begin to look at the unbelief, if you will, there's no faith, Amen. lack of faith, Come on. and little faith. Yeah. Amen. And so if you are operating in no faith, little faith, or lack of faith, then you're operating in a measure of unbelief. That's right. And God does not want you to operate in unbelief. And in this life, we must come to know that he is the way, the truth, and, and the, the life. life. That's right. No man comes to the Father but by him. So guess what? We need need to operate in faith, trusting and believing and dealing with that unbelief. If you will, they were manipulated because there were 12. And the 12, if you will, uh, 10 of the 12 spoke unbelief. Come on. And you know, it's just, just like we train little children, you know, we train them to do what's right and, and they don't necessarily want to do what's right. They want to go their way and we have to guide them and lead them. And sometimes, uh, correct them into the way that they're supposed to go. That's the same thing that God wants to do with us. And in that prophet, in that process, uh, deliverance will take place. It doesn't always feel good, you know, getting rid of your habits and getting rid of your thoughts and taking on the mind of Christ and being obedient to what the word of God says. But if we're going to walk this walk, those are the things that are going to have to happen. You know, people say, oh, it doesn't take all that. Yeah, it does take all that and some. So it's important that we put ourselves in the position that we allow God to take away the things from us that aren't going to help us. They're eventually going to hurt us and you're going to end up having to do it anyway. So it's important that we move forward in God, allowing God to strengthen us so we don't walk in unbelief. 
so we don't walk in a lack of faith and so we don't walk in little faith but god wants us to be strong in the word of god amen god wants us to have that self-discipline yes he does and 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 you know what be willing to let him discipline us amen uh, you know, maturity begins to happen when you allow yourself to be disciplined. Yeah. And then we can begin to move to, to that place. That's God right. wants to build your faith. Amen. Yeah. And faith comes by hearing and hearing, hearing by, by the, the word. word of God. Well, you know, in Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, you know, that without faith, it is impossible to please him. And so our desire and our goal is to please God. Amen. That's it. And because that's the desire and the goal, then we need to do what we have to do so that we are pleasing to God because that's really what matters. We are here to know him, to love him and to serve him. Glory. And so we have to put ourselves in that position that God can work on our faith and he can work on our belief. You know, it's, it's a process. It doesn't happen all at once, but it is a process and we have to be willing to go through the process. We've got to be willing to go through the process Amen. and know that our faith is built first by hearing. There's some people who don't want to hear the word of God. That's right. There's some people will, the word will be preached and they'll say, well, that wasn't for me. <laughs> Amen. You know, if the word is being preached, God, God, God wants to build our faith through the word. That's Amen. Right. And so first it's the hearing and then the obeying. That's right. So do you hear? And if you hear, awesome. So, Are you obedient to God's Amen. word? Amen. Or do you pick and choose? Are you cherry picking? Well, that's what the word of God says, that faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so it's the word of God that will help us in our belief and help us walk through this in faith. And you know what? We can get delivered from ourselves because we live in a world where we want everything instant and we want it our way. And so it's very important that we allow God to work on us. You know, let God change your heart and change your mind. Let God correct you a little bit. Don't fight it. Don't kick. Don't scream. Let's just trust God. Amen. And we will see you tomorrow at 747. Seven. Have a blessed day.